Hello, this is my second blog on me learning to play the folk harp and sharing what I learn in case it helps other people and inspires them to take up learning something new. Um, I have some good news. I finally finished university. It took me an extra year because I had to defer it because I wasn't well. And um, I wrote two essays in two days and I don't know if they're going to pass. The jury's out on that one. But it means I'm finally free of studying literature and I've got more time to play the harp and um, get my work done on my hat business, which is what I do during the daytime. So this week I wanted to show you a book I've been using and this great big harp wall poster that I got that's got lots of information on it and it's been really helpful for the basics of learning to play the harp. This is my folk harp wall chart poster. It's about A3 size and it's by Mel Bay who also published the book I'm going to show in the next clip. And it's just really handy for while you're practicing to quickly look at something that's really big rather than having to flick for a book or go on the internet and look it up again. It's just instantly there. And this comes with all the different hand positions, different ornamentations you can learn in this notation down here. It's got the parts of a harp if you're completely new to playing harp. Uh, different scales, different lever positions depending on how many levers you've got for different keys and then here there's various exercises and um, notation for finger placement for moving your hands up and down the harp and crossing under and over with fingers and that kind of thing. So it's just a really quick and easy way of getting information while you're practicing. And this is the harp book I wanted to show you. It's The Basic Harp for Beginners by Laurie Riley, which is also published by Mel Bay. And it's quite a thin book, but there is so much in here from literally first getting your harp um, to tuning. It even explains how the tuner works, <laughs> which is great if you've never used one before. Um, to the most basic hand positions, how to place your fingers, and it goes right through so by the time you get to the back you're actually playing full songs which are not so basic so it's brilliant for sort of coming from not knowing how to read music not having played harp before and it just takes you through step by step and I'm trying to be disciplined and and stick to the book because I've I've got this terrible habit of sitting down and just making up stuff for about an hour and not concentrating on my finger position or what I'm actually playing. And so I'm doing the exercises in this before I start playing now. Because it's got a lot of the techniques that you need. That once they're instilled in you, they'll just come naturally as you become more of an experienced player. So I really recommend this book. Um, this is also available on Amazon somewhere out there on internet land. <laughs> Love.